Good morning and welcome everybody to my channel. My name is Jakub Vanish and today I'm going to be talking about Apple Vision Pro. So it's been about two months since the launch of Apple Vision Pro, Apple's chap at virtual reality or how they call it, spatial computing. And there have been a quite a lot of interesting use cases since the launch that are emerging and I wanted to review some of them. Plus there has been a new update of the, of the firmware uh, from Apple's side and that is actually making them quite more usable, these, these goggles. So without further ado, let's dive in. All right, so we're watching the first use case here, and that's kind of educational, you know, for medicine students, for future doctors. Here we can check every nitty gritty detail of, of the heart and the muscles and the veins and arteries and the flow of the blood inside them. And I, I think you can kind of miniaturize yourself to, to be inside that heart to really see, see, like, look at that detail. This is, this is quite impressive. And honestly, I almost envy these future students or current students that are able to use such tools. I always love, you know, these encyclopedias with, with a lot of detail and with lovely, you know, colorful pictures. But this is this is second to none. Though, I guess things uh, like the kids these days, they, <laughs> they still hate, you know, uh, learning as much as everybody. Okay, second use case here we're, we're looking at kind of looking for a new car, right? Shopping for a new car where you can put it in your place, in, inside of your living room, even sit inside that car. And I think that is very nice because you can see how spacious the car is, how it feels, you know, in, in your hand, etc., etc. This other use case, so that is, I think, something that will become a norm very, very soon. And that's kind of AR shopping experience, right? So imagine all of the e-shops that, that you love, be it on Amazon or anything like that. And you can just go through the items here. We're shopping for shoes, obviously. But again, you can zoom in and check out, you know, from every angle details of those items. And yeah, I can clearly see this as future of shopping. Like uh, this will for sure have an impact on physical shops. So yeah, this is this is very nice and thumbs up for that. And this next use case is about education regarding, you know, learning an instrument, right? So playing an instrument is somewhat difficult. It takes years, you know, to master it. But I think this is this is making it as easy as playing a video game, like these these older games like Rock Band or Guitar Hero. Um, I think almost anybody can pick it up and you know just understand how to play, you know, their favorite song. So this 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 is a this is a great use case. And here's something that uh, even Apple, you know, advertised themselves uh, using basically your spatial computer, your Apple Vision Pro uh, on a long haul flight. Uh, here, uh, you know, the person is surrounding himself or herself by screens <laughs> everywhere. Though I've heard from a lot of influencers that they, they even though they had flights, you know, with this, they, they were always shying, uh, they were always shy to, to take it out, you know, of the box uh, in front of others. But I think, you know, it will become less and less awkward in the future to, to put that headset on your head. <laughs> so yeah, we'll have to wait and see about this. But mark my words, you know, in a, uh, in a year or two, this is gonna become just like every other iPad on a on a flight or or MacBook. And here we're finally reviewing that new uh, feature that uh, Apple added in their latest firmware update. So it's called Spatial Personas. And if you remember, you know those personas they were a little bit awkward. They were always like like in a little window. Um, and it felt really off. But now it feels a little bit better, to be honest. And they are with you in your space. So you can, you know, stand around uh, uh, a whiteboard together and review, you know, a project. Or you can play video games together. You can watch movies together. And it really adds a social aspect that I think uh, Apple Vision Pro was lacking. And something that that is really putting it on a whole another level. Here, these two dudes are basically playing, you know, battleship against each other. And, you know, this this looks like so much fun, to be honest. And obviously, they're also having fun. Like you can see on their facial expressions, you can see their hand gestures. Um, yeah, I think this is very, very impressive. And I, I cannot wait to test it out myself. And this, you know, like when they're reviewing like a PowerPoint or a whiteboard, I think this is the future of of uh, let's say home office, right? Like I can imagine your meetings being done like that, everybody being in their place. Uh, you know, now we have Microsoft Teams or Zoom um, and you can use other, you know, web 
related applications to kind of collaborate but this is this is way better you will almost feel like these people are with you in the room um yeah here they're playing uh, like virtual chess or online chess with each other and it almost feels physical i don't know if it's my brain you know kind of getting used to this kind of graphics or if if actually they are really improving it because this this looks very impressive to me and in the last example, I think this is the most impressive one. Here we have actually multiple people, three people collaborating kind of in that one room. They're sitting on a couch, they're even shaking hands and they're high-fiving each other. It looks like they're really physically sitting on that couch. Uh, see, they are even <laughs> giving a high-five to each other. They're watching, you know, Marvel movie together. <laughs> this is just the cherry on the top. So uh, that is very, very impressive to me. I think this is this is a glimpse at a very bright future. And, you know, if there have been not too many talks about Apple Vision Pro in the past days, this is actually, you know, stirring up some new discussion. And I'm very positive about the future versions of this of this uh, software uh, and of, of the hardware as well. Um, so I think it has a very good future ahead of itself. So this has been Jakub Vanish. Thanks a lot for watching. And I'll be glad if you subscribe or leave a comment, or leave a like. Otherwise, take care, everybody, and cheers.